Lucretius de Rerum Natura, Book 1, Episode 9. Nam privata dolorum ni privata periclis. Ips asuis polens apipus nihil indiga nostri. Nec bene pro meritis capitur nec tangitur irra. Human non taculos foide cum vita jaceret. Inter riso pressa sub religione. Quae caputa cae li regionibus osten debat. Horribili super aspectu mortalibus instans. Primum graius homo mortalis tolera contra. Estaculosa sus primus quapsistera contra. This selection is somewhat long for one episode, but as you will notice, there's no good stopping point. So we'll just handle as much of it as we can and leave the rest for the next episode. Lucretius goes on to talk about the nature of the gods, natura divum, or natura divorum, and he says, For it itself, ipsa, privata dolora omni, is free from or lacking in all pain, lacking in all dangers. It is polens suis opibus, that is powerful, in its own resources. It is indiga, lacking or in need of nothing that belongs to us, indiga nostri. Uh, here, nostri in the genitive. Nor does the nature of the gods, is it taken captive by those who have deserved well from it, that has earned anything. So uh, the nature of the gods is never in debt to anyone, would be another way to express this. Nor is it touched, affected, influenced, irdra, by anger. There's an ablative of means or instrument, just like meritis. Now Lucretius begins with the very programmatic and perhaps most famous portion of this first book. Cum, there is a cum temporal. Humana vita, here's our subject, vita in particular, modified by humana, which has been placed right at the head of the period, at the head of the colon. So when human life lay, yakere, here is a second conjugation verb, yakere, which means to be in a position to be defeated, to uh, lay in a state of disrepair, for example. When human life lay before our eyes shamefully, and it was a human life that was oppressa, it was oppressed down on the earth under gravi religione, under the heavy weight, under heavy religion. Now, among the Romans, this word religione had a very positive connotation. It actually has two possible derivations. The first is religo, religare, first conjugation verb, which means to bind or tie together. The second possible derivation is religo, relegere, which means to assemble or collect. Cicero believes that religo, relegere, is the origin of this word because the idea is religion is the um, summation of all the different ideas that are gathered or collected together from a number of possible sources. But whatever may be the actual derivation, for the Romans, religione was a very powerful and positive idea. It was intimately linked to the Mos Maiorum. The Mos Maiorum was the tradition of their ancestors, and it was a very respected and fundamental aspect of Roman existence. Thus, for Lucretius to describe human life as being oppressa under heavy religion is a very serious statement to make and it shows his Epicureanism. He's going to speak soon about Graius Homo, Epicurus himself.